Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm here with Leon from Gigabyte. How's it going, Leon? Good, good. Yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, we have the all, well, most of the series of right. uh, Gigabyte's new Z97 motherboards. So uh, just to give you guys the, 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 the down and dirty details from the very beginning, these are Z97 chipset or 9 series chipset from Intel, uh, socket 1150. They're going to work with current generation Haswell processors. Also, the upcoming Haswell Refresh, as well as Devil's Canyon, and then we're expecting fifth generation core compatibility Correct. as well once that is available. Yes. So, um, we're mostly going to be focusing on uh, Gigabyte's gaming series of motherboards here, but we do have a couple other ones. So, let's, let's talk about those first off and a little bit of the segmentation. So, um, Leon, when it comes to the, uh, the different segments of the market that you guys wanted to hit with the Z97 series, uh, where did you begin with and uh, what, what, what is the gaming series aimed at, say, versus the overclocking series? Okay. Well, Paul, just like you know, with our 8 series, we came in with three different segments. We had our gaming, our overclocking, and our performance. Mm. And with the 9 series this time around, we decided to add something new. So we still have, uh, we've maintained our performance series. Uh, we still have our overclocking series for our overclockers. We have our gaming series for those who want to focus a little bit more on gaming. That's what they're using their computers for. It's purely gaming. Mm -hmm. And then we've also added, in addition to what I have on my right right here, a black edition. The black edition. So, so that's, uh, that means they're going to be all black, right? <laughs> no, it's Not actually uh, the black edition actually refers to uh, the board being server tested. Now these have undergo these undergo 168 hours of server level testing. We do different benchmarks off of it, and that ensures that when you do get the board, your system's been burned in test already. I understand you guys are actually doing Litecoin mining for that. We're doing some Litecoin mining on it just to stress it out a little bit, just to push it, uh, give it that consistent you know, pressure test. But um, with all of these, after you get the board, when you buy it, you actually get this nifty little box that opens up. We've taken the board out, but this box actually opens up for you guys. You can see the board. You can see some of the features on the inside right here. Okay. And not only that, you also get a little certificate. Um, I believe Steve has actually reviewed this board, so you guys can definitely check his video out, see what other neat tricks that we did include in the board, and see what else we have for you guys here. Just to go over some quick details, we do have the 15 microns gold plated on the CPU socket, the DIMM slots, as well as the back I.O. you see right here. We have also included the Soundcore, Creative Soundcore 3D. Now this is a quad-core audio chip. Okay. Now we're the four, first motherboard manufacturer to actually include that. And we also have some gain switches up here for audiophiles who actually want to use gain, who have better high audio speakers or headsets. And we also have an op amp that's actually interchangeable. Excellent. So that's the Z97X Gaming G1 Wi-Fi Black Edition. Now, so this board would also theoretically be available in a non-black edition as well? Correct. So we actually do have this one in a non-black edition, but it's okay. not a Wi-Fi model. Okay. So uh, the black edition are boards that you know have been tested and validated by Gigabyte for an extensive period of time, 168 hours to be specific. And uh, you know that when you get them, they're going to work for you, they're going to be solid, and they also have an extended warranty along We with do that. have an extended warranty. So right now, uh, with all Gigabyte motherboards, we offer a three-year manufacturer warranty. But if you do get a black edition motherboard, you can register for it online, and at that time when you register, you get an, addi an additional two years. Very nice. So you get a total of five-year warranty on your board. And then uh, apart from the testing and the burning uh, period, there's maybe some slight design aesthetics, just, just purely uh, aesthetic changes uh, that I saw when we, uh, when we did the uh, press event just right. a few weeks so ago. Right, so during our press event, we did show you guys uh, regular versions mm -hmm. and also the black editions. Uh, for some of the black editions, you might see different heat sinks, a okay. black heat sink versus a red heat sink or a gold heat sink. And that just gives uh, users that other aesthetic class level to show that, hey, you know, I got a black edition motherboard. All right, so uh, if you guys are really into long-term stability for your system, you want to set it up, you want to make sure that everything's going to work great. If you like a five-year warranty, uh, go ahead and check out the black edition right. boards available from the Z97 series from uh, Gigabyte. But uh, let's, again, delay our coverage of the gaming series boards for just another moment, because I wanted to uh, show you guys the overclocking series. Right. Uh, orange and black color scheme, you guys have been going with this for a few years now, um, but this board Overclocking series, I'm guessing designed for overclocking. Definitely designed for overclocking. You can actually see a lot of overclocking features. And of course, uh, we actually broke several world records with our uh, eight series overclocking boards. Very if you nice. look at any of our CES coverage, we broke uh, three world records with that. You can see that we do still maintain all of our overclocking buttons. So you can do on the fly overclocking right here. 
We have our power button, our gear switches, we have uh, our OC ignition, a tag button, a quick turbo overclock, and we also have some switches here. Last time with our overclocking motherboards, we actually allowed you to disable the PCIe slots individually. Okay. And we're still able to do that this time, but we've added something new to it. We've actually now allowed you to disable your RAM slots. So you can see the two, four dip switches here. One is set for the RAM, one is set for your PCIe. Okay. And basically sometimes, you know, if you're pushing your RAM, you run into some issues, you maybe have a very hard to deal with cooler on top, you want to just disable it, you could do that right here for you. Now, with the 8 Series, I know uh, you guys came from a design standpoint with the overclocking boards that you really wanted to sort of cut out all of the, what, what might be viewed as extraneous components right. or, or features. Um, this time around, it seems like you guys have added a few more of those in there to make the, these more viable boards for folks who are building maybe a more standard gaming system. Um, as well as having, of course, all the overclocking features as well? Definitely. I mean, um, yes and no. Okay. Uh, yes, we did. With our 8 Series, we did try to keep it very clean. We kept it mm -hmm. lean, the board's lean. But at the same time, even with the 9 Series, that's still, it's still there. Okay. But I can see what you mean by additional features. Like, we've added additional features such as uh, our path lighting. Okay. But in this sense, this is our actually our noise guard that's actually cut out. So if you can actually look, this will actually light up when the board turns on. Very nice. And this is a separation from your digital and analog side. And I've noticed you guys have integrated the path lighting in quite a few of them. We've integrated in quite a few. And I mean, in that sense, it actually actually reduces your EMI from your digital side to your analog side and mm -hmm. vice versa. So you're actually not seeing as much interference from either the audio side over to your digital side okay. and the other way around. So in that sense, we did add some more features onto it, but at the same time, we still kept it very lean. We've kept it good for overclocking. So this is still a great board for enthusiasts as well as users who want to try out overclocking, but that's not their main priority. Okay. So uh, the overclocking boards, if you guys are into overclocking or if you just want a board that's orange and black, that's also another, right. uh, another market segment that is clearly targeted yes. by the overclocking boards. Uh, but let's move on to the gaming series because I know that's kind of the meat well, of Well, we uh, also have um, the performance series. So performance just so series. everyone knows, we do have performance okay. series. And if you, know, you want an all-around performer, you're not very big on overclocking, you're not big on gaming, we definitely do have over, uh, our performance series for you guys to check out. So check out Newegg.com for other performance series motherboards right. like our UD5H or UD3H. And we'll post the link in the video description if you guys want to check those out. Um, so we're going to start off at the uh, small end for the gaming okay. series board. This is uh, one of Gigabyte's first gaming-oriented mini-ITX boards. Would that be accurate? Correct. This is, um, we've actually had, we've been in the mini-ITX market for quite a while. We've had our Z7, uh, Z87N Wi-Fi. And this time around, we've seen a lot of users for LAN events, they've actually come to us saying, hey, you know, how come you don't make a uh, mini ITX? And mm -hmm. this is actually one of our first targeted mini ITX motherboards. Now, this is our Z97N Gaming 5. You can see we have the more unique gaming heatsink here. Again, it's just like, um, a, it's a mini ITX board with all a lot of gaming features on it. Very nice. Uh, I also like the uh, central location of the uh, of, of the uh, LGA 1150 socket there as well. Uh, you got some red and black uh, highlights going on again, uh, keeping it in line with the rest of the aesthetic of the gaming series. And uh, tons of uh, functionality and connectivity here, especially considering right. that this is a mini ITX board. You have a uh, Wi-Fi integrated. You can see uh, the uh, antenna contact points there in the back, and then a full complement of I/O as well. Plenty of uh, USB 3 as well as uh, connectivity for uh, your audio, which is all gold plated uh, audio, analog audio jacks, which is very nice. Correct. Excellent. All right, so there's a look at the Mini ITX uh, gaming series. Uh, any, other, any other points about this uh, little board you got? You this to make? board actually comes with a wireless AC adapter. Okay. Oh, so that, that is an AC. So it is very an nice. AC. It'll be AC and Bluetooth. So if you're looking for, if you're unable to do a uh, a LAN cable, if you're mm. not able to do Cat5, you want you have to use wireless in your home. This is definitely a great choice for you. It does AC, and on top of that, it ba it's backward as a Bluetooth. All so right. it'll do Bluetooth 4.0 and wireless AC, about 867 megs. Excellent. So there's uh, the Gigabyte G1 Series Mini ITX. And uh, let's move up one point in the form factor race here. So this is a micro ATX board. And uh, I think when it comes to small form factor, I generally lean towards micro, mm -hmm. micro ATX. I've been, I've been saying that I feel like a lot lately, but it uh, gives you a little bit more expandability while still maintaining a smaller footprint. And uh, this board, the specific model, 
which I should read off, is, what is the model on this one? This one is actually our Z97X, uh, sorry, MX Gaming 5. Okay, there it is, Z97MX Gaming 5. And uh, what are some of the hallmarks of this particular board? So just like, you know, our gaming series, audio is definitely a big portion for our gamers, we feel. You know, people want to have better audio quality when they're mm -hmm. playing games. Sometimes they don't want to always be playing games. They want to backwards and come back and, you know, listen to some music. So again, we do have the gold-plated audio jacks in the back. We have Gigabyte's exclusive amp-up audio technology labeled right there. Okay. And with that, we've also included USB DACs. So you can see on the back, we have four yellow ports right here. USB DACs, which allow actually for um, digital analog converters. You know, okay. if you're using an external audio card, you want something stronger, you can definitely use it for that. If you have any other um, DACs, USB powered DACs, you can use it for that as well. Okay, so those are the, uh, the yellow ports here, and those are specifically designed for actually using an external DAC. External uh, connecting it there to minimize uh, any sort of EMI. And there's actually correct. And there's actually a lot of unique features on this one alone. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually done some tests with the regular USB 2.0 and with our USB DAC, and you can actually see the electrical. Uh, what is that? The fluctuations okay. in a regular 2.0, and it's actually more wavy compared to when you're using the USB DAC because our DACs have its own power source. All right, so it helps reduce that uh, ripple and that interference. Correct. Make sure that your external DAC is uh, being able to uh, have a digital signal there without necessarily having the power um, right. that might yeah. that might conflict with that. And again, with our gaming motherboards, gaming online gamers, key is network. So we have a killer NIC. Okay. We've also included with the audio side, we do still have that path lighting for you audio files out there nice. who want a small board. Okay. And definitely networking audio is one of the top things here. And with our 9 series, you do see that we have an M.2. So we have M.2 and we also have SATA Express in the back. All right, so uh, that's providing some next generation next uh, connectivity for storage options. I know M.2 is one of the things I'm really excited about when it comes to the Z97 chipset because with uh, dedicated M.2 PCIe, uh, SSD, you can actually get up to 10 gigabits per second gigabits. Uh, potential throughput. So that's very nice, and uh, especially being able to just drop it in on the board itself, you don't have to worry about cabling and going over anywhere or uh, actually setting up like right. power. Right, and, and a data. good thing about what we've included, uh, there's a lot of different M.2 form factors. Definitely you need to do some research on that first. Mm -hmm. Ours is, uh, we do allow for different lengths, so we okay. allow for the 42, the 60, and also an 80. All right, so uh, you have more compatibility there because M.2 SSDs can be different lengths. Different as, lengths. As Leon just mentioned. All right, so uh, there's a look at the Micro ATX. Where should we go next? The let's, Gaming 7. Let's go over to the Gaming 7. Wait, is that right? Yes, Gaming 7. Bring that to the center so, here. Yeah, let me talk about the Gaming 7 really quick, just to give you guys a brief intro. Uh, definitely this time around, we focused heavily on uh, our gamers out there. Mm -hmm. So we've come out with a lot of different gaming boards, we've switched up the color schemes a little bit, and we've added a lot of features that gamers look for when okay. they talk to us. So with our Gaming 7, we do have other models as well. We have our Gaming 3, we have our Gaming 5, our Gaming 7, which is the one we brought here today. Mm -hmm. We also have our Mini ITX and our micro ATX and so these are just some of the gaming boards out there I just want to let you guys know so you guys can look around on the Newegg site for different gaming models. And generally when it comes to the the actual naming scheme it's pretty simple three, pretty five, simple. seven, the higher the number the more features you're gonna have and the price is gonna right. be a little bit more as well. Right, you, you'll get more features uh, this time around, we've also kept our ASP pretty low. Okay. You know, we've targeted. We know gamers sometimes are still on a budget. Of course. So we've been kind of good about that. So I mean, usually if you find a gaming five and a gaming seven, you're not spending a lot more just to get those extra features. Okay, cool. Yes. So let's look at the quick look at the gaming seven. That's a full ATX version of the motherboard. And then uh, lastly, we have actually a new egg exclusive hanging out over here on the corner. So let me bring that one to the center. And uh, this one you can only buy at Newegg. All right, and that's what exclusive is about. That's, um, <laughs> that is the definition of exclusive. That is the definition of exclusive. Yeah. So uh, right here we have, this is a Newegg exclusive, like Paul did say. This is our G1 Sniper Z97. Again, this is a gaming board. Mm -hmm. It can do two-way two graphics. It can do, it has our sound core 3D, so we're looking at a quad-core audio chip right here. It still has the path lighting. It has the gold plating in the back, and it also has our new 
gaming logo right there. Excellent. So on that gaming logo, in case folks don't recognize it, was actually carried over from the graphics cards Correct. that Gigabyte has make, been making for quite some time. So kind of bringing that together, if you didn't know that Gigabyte makes motherboards as well as graphics cards, now hopefully you'll know, or at least you'll be like, hey, that looks like the same symbol on both yes, of them. definitely. So Excellent. check out this board only at Newegg.com. And other than that, that should be the overall overview for all of the boards we brought here today. Uh, our Black Edition, our Performance Series, our overclocking and our gaming series. Excellent. So, uh, Leon, thanks for stopping by, sharing all this information with us today. Okay. And uh, thanks to all you guys at home for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned because we are going to be doing an additional video that we will also have up, up on uh, Newegg TV, yes. so you can check that out. Uh, Leon brought an epic water-cooled system over there from CyberPower PC and an awesome Fantex case. And uh, we're going to be doing a little demonstration of some of the uh, software uh, capabilities as well as the UEFI, so we can uh, dive into that and take a look at what kind of updates have been made there. Yes, definitely. Excellent. And uh, don't forget to uh, go down and leave us a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of these particular motherboards. Don't forget to hit the like button while you're down there or maybe the share button too. And we'll see you all next time.